it is way too cold to be sitting out here and recording a video. It's literally 23 degrees out. The sun is rising though, so I'll give you a nice little, nice little look at that. Very nice, very, very beautiful sunrise this morning. But I guess I'm just coming on here for a nice little layup since I haven't really recorded in a while. It actually kind of feels weird to be sitting here talking to a camera, even though I've literally done this for, I don't even know how many, over a hundred videos at this point. And since I've just been away for a month, it kind of feels a little bit weird getting back into it. It's actually been more than a month, like probably a month and a half, but you know, that's kind of part of the reason why I've been so averse to coming back and filming a video is because once you kind of get out of it, you don't really, it's, it's like momentum, right? Once you lose that momentum that you had and then you kind of just drop the ball and it just stops moving, it's so much harder to get that ball rolling again. And especially because maybe I, maybe I impose this limitation or this notion on myself that I had to upload every single day because if I didn't feel like I had to upload every day, then I wouldn't have this, you know, this weird pressure of being like, oh, if I, if I don't upload tomorrow or if I don't upload today, then I shouldn't upload for another week. And then at that point, if I haven't uploaded for a week, what's well, another week and then a month, right? And then it kind of just snowballs in the wrong direction where I'm trying to make it snowball in the direction of me doing more rather than doing less, if that makes sense. And this this can apply to, to everything. I have a couple videos in mind. I guess a big reason why I haven't felt like uploading in the first place, there's a whole nother debate about that of whether I should have just forced myself to keep uploading despite me having a lack of creativity and having a lack of ideas because that's what kind of pushes you to grow rather than failing or stopping at the first obstacle you meet not to say that was my first obstacle because i've been uploading for quite some time now i mean a year is not that long and it hasn't even been a year yet i think it'll be a year maybe at the end of this month actually of actually posting youtube videos so i'll give myself a pat on the back for that but aside from that kind of whole conundrum of whether or not i should have kept uploading despite not having any ideas, I kind of felt like I was in sort of a box, if that makes any sense, right? Like when, when people experience creative block or, or writer's block, it's hard to, I, it was just hard for me to think of new ideas. It felt like I was just coming back to the same conclusions over and over again, because I think there's also an element of experiencing life with this whole thing. Not to say that when I make videos, I'm not experiencing life because you're only seeing maybe, or I'm only recording maybe 10 minutes out of a day to film and post a YouTube video, right? So in the other 23 hours and 50 minutes, I have time there to experience life how, however I want to. But I just felt like there wasn't much happening in my life and I still kind of feel that way where there's not too much going on and that's kind of led me to have this aversion to posting because I just felt like I again I'll, I'll keep reiterating that I felt like I kept posting the same content I just had the same message over and over again where it was like you have to improve your discipline you have to keep battling your own mind and while I do still think that's an important message, and I do think that that message still has value, I just needed a little step back, right? And, and another part of me taking that break and not wanting to post again was because I, I always hate when in the comments people will say, oh, welcome back, welcome back, right? People have already done that to me whenever I took a break for a week a while ago or... I forget how long my last break was, but you know, people, people will, people will comment, welcome back, like, look, good to see you uploading again. And yes, that, that is nice to, to hear that people 
care about where I've been, especially considering that I'm just, to most people who are watching, just a random person on the internet, right? So I do really appreciate that people are checking in and wondering what I'm up to. It does, it does get recognized, right? That's not what I'm saying. It's just, it feels bad on my end that it's like, oh, I, I had to step away, I had to take a break. And then these people are recognizing it as like, oh, he had to take some time for mental health when I guess that's valid, but I don't know. I just don't really like that, that notion of people being like, oh, welcome back to YouTube. Because if I didn't really put this strain on myself to try to upload every day and my videos were more sporadic, you just never know when I'm gonna drop an upload, then you know, people wouldn't be saying, oh, welcome back. Maybe they would be like, oh, I'm glad to see another video, but they wouldn't be like, oh, welcome back to YouTube and stuff like that. So I think those were the main points that I wanted to get across that I was thinking about and what's been really holding me from posting YouTube videos. Again, you kind of just need momentum to get the ball rolling. All I needed to do was flip around my phone, turn on the camera, and start press record and then start talking and that's literally all i really need to get back into the flow of things like now I've, i don't even know how long i've spoken for just now but it kind of feels natural right it's like riding a bike once you get back on it i got my bike sitting right next to me because i just got back or i just finished up at the gym this morning you know the good 6 a.m grind and it's freezing outside if i didn't mention my hand is probably gonna fall off and with this construction noise, I have much more to talk about. I think I've learned a couple things while I've been away, so I'm ready to share those. And before this noise gets too loud, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember to stay on target.